be afraid. Be very afraid. Arsenal are coming. Now listen, listen, also, uh, yeah, I mean, Norwich, Norwich have got to play without fear um, when they play Arsenal because if they are scared of Arsenal, they'll get ripped apart. There's a lot to be scared of because we've got players like Ozil, Alexis Sanchez, as you saw the other night. These guys are on fire. So there's a lot for Norwich to be scared of, but if, I think if they are too fearful in that game, they'll get ripped up. I don't think Norwich should be scared of Arsenal. And the reason why is because we've already come up against Chelsea, Manchester City, Liverpool, and we haven't really struggled against any of them teams. And Arsenal, yes, they have fantastic players, but we're going out there with a game plan. We're going out there with a good game plan and a game plan that I think the players will execute correctly. If we do that, there's no reason to be scared of Arsenal. Yes, they have good players, but we're in the Premier League now. Every team has good players. I think if we go out there, not scared, play our game, we will be absolutely fine. It all depends on the injuries. Uh, you know, at the start of the season, I was feeling optimistic about Arsenal, although we should have bought some players, which we didn't. Um, but now that curse that always hits Arsenal is the injuries, and they're building up with the injury now to Coquelin. If we can't get, if we keep getting injuries like that, we won't win the title. If we can start getting some of those injured players back and play consistently, we've definitely got a chance. I think Arsenal can win the Premier League this season. I said at the start of the season, I stick by that. I think the reason Arsenal have got a fantastic chance, probably their best chance in a long while, is because the opposition around them isn't that great. You know, Manchester United can't score goals, Chelsea are woeful, Liverpool, yeah, they have their runs, but not very consistent. I suppose the main competitor is Manchester City, and they, without sort of Silva and Aguero, they're not really that much of a team. Um, and Arsenal have a pretty decent all-round team. I mean, their defence is a bit bit sloppy, but they normally do all right. They sort of make up for that with Petr Cech and goal. I just think Arsenal need to find consistency and win the games that they, they're expected to win uh, for the likes against West Brom. So I think Arsenal can go on to win the Premier League this season. I think it's their best chance in a long, long while. I would have said uh, John Ruddy would have got in before we signed Petr Cech, but now no. Nathan Redman, but would he get in ahead of like, say if I put him up against other prospects like Oxlade Chamberlain and Theo Walcott. Sorry Norwich fans, I don't think any Norwich player would get into Arsenal's team. Not at the moment anyway. I think there's a couple of Norwich players that could probably scrape into the Arsenal team. Um, I think one is Robbie Brady going into left back. I think he'd be an upgrade on Monreal. I think Brady, we, I don't know how we captured him. He's a fantastic player, can play anywhere down the left-hand side. Played um, in left back and left midfield and looked fantastic in both positions. And I think Brady could certainly get into a top six team uh, without doubt. I, I mean, Monreal's a good player, but I think... Brady is probably better. Uh, the other player who could might get in maybe in a couple of years is Nathan Redmond. I think he'd be scraping. I, I don't think he's probably good enough just yet. But if he continues with this current progression, he'll definitely be good enough for the Arsenal team. So I'd probably say yes, Robbie Brady definitely, possibly Nathan Redmond. <laughs> Sorry, Norris fans. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> She wanted to be inspirational, but if you're going to be inspirational, don't be drunk. <laughs> Where are you? Yes, be having you. Of course that was inspirational. The woman is a living legend. Um, yes, it's probably come back to haunt her and every single opposition fan knows her as less be having you now. But I think that's funny, you know. It brought some attention to Norwich City. It brought some exposure. And Dealey is just a lovely person who's you know, our heart bleeds yellow and green. Yes, it might be a bit embarrassing for her, but at the end of the day, you know, it's quite funny. She's a lovely woman. That was inspirational. My prediction for the game on Sunday is... <laughs> Norwich 1, Arsenal 3. So, score prediction. Um, I'm going for a 1-1. Uh, I can remember the time we beat you at Carrow Road with that Grant Holt goal. Alex Tete smashing it from long range. Um, and your keeper spilled it. I think it was Vito Minone at the time. Um, but no, I think we're going to do all right. We are due a bit of luck. Uh, I think that luck's going to come against Arsenal. Apparently Sanchez might be out. Coquelin's out. They're two of your main players. 
So yeah, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll score, but we will definitely concede. So that means I'm going for a 1-1. I think Alex Neal is definitely good enough to, to manage Arsenal when, uh, when Wenger retires. I think 